Welcome to Thriving Teacher Talk. I'm your host, Jillian Fernandez. I'm a former teacher from New York turned full-time mom and teacherpreneur on a mission to help you create a profitable and sustainable income selling your teaching resources or services. I'm here to make your life easier by giving you the best advice, trainings, and mindset shifts to grow your business, and most importantly, save you time and sanity. Welcome to another episode of Thriving Teacher Talk. As always, I'm so happy you're here and that you're allowing me to assist you in your teacherpreneur journey. So as the perfectionist that you are, because let's be honest, all teachers and former teachers are perfectionists. You have this content that you plan out for your TPT store and your social media, and maybe sometimes you even have it all planned out in advance, but for some reason you're feeling stuck. You just don't know what to post this upcoming day, week, or even a month because you feel like you've posted it all, or you know, summer vacation is coming and you think that things are going to need to slow down or just in general, you're like, what in the world am I supposed to be doing in terms of content now? Listen, we all get stuck. Sometimes we've all found ourselves in situations like this. It happens to me as well. And I hear this often from those in my program, Thriving Teacher Academy. This is why today I want to share with you 10 ideas that you can use for content when you're feeling stuck. So tip one is I want you to reintroduce yourself. This is actually a personal favorite of mine because most likely you've gained some new followers or your audience needs a refresher of who you are and what you do. This is why this is so useful. Tell your audience who you are and why you're the best at what you do. Make it fun and personal by making a reel or adding a photo of yourself. We've all talked talked before about how people buy from those people that they trust. Well, in order for others to trust you, they need to know who you are. So tell your audience who you are and remind them why they're following you and do something to make it interesting. So like a reel, a video, something to make sure that you're doing something to reintroduce yourself and share some fun facts about you. Tip two is to share facts about your niche. Uh, there's that word again. And is it niche, niche, who knows? But we did talk about this earlier in the season. Have you picked your niche yet? If not, be sure you're focusing on that. Anyways, the goal here is to be seen as an expert in your specific niche. So to achieve this, you need to be posting facts or tips about your specific niche. For example, if you are an algebra teacher, you can give an end of the year tip to help students stay engaged now that the reading exams are over. Or perhaps you're a kindergarten teacher and you have this amazing end of the year project you do for your students that you know has made a huge impact and has been a game changer. Share about it to help teachers see how valuable you are as a source of inspiration and information. People will see you as an expert and come to you with questions, which is the goal. All right, on to tip three, which is sharing a free resource. If you don't have a freebie made yet, you need to. Freebies are a great way to build your business and credibility. Plus, you can also build an email list this way. If you are in a content slump, make an image or a reel showing off your free resource and direct people to your bio to download it. This is a great way to show others that you know what struggles they're going through and you have a solution to help them. If you need help making a freebie, you can check out Thriving Teacher Academy and I will walk you through the exact steps to doing this and creating those high quality free resources and other resources that sell and make an impact. All right. So tip four is sharing a struggle in your life. You and your business are not perfect. We all struggle and your audience wants to see that you're human too. So share a struggle you're having right now. Maybe you're feeling overwhelmed with work. Maybe you need a mental break, or maybe you're afraid to get in in front of the camera and create video content. Whatever it is, share your struggles. It helps your audience realize that you're human and they're going to value you being so open with them. All right, tip five is sharing a throwback picture or a resource. Who doesn't love a throwback Thursday? It's been years and this trend is still popular. (laughs) You can throw it back and post a resource you created before. Maybe it was one of your first, or maybe it was one of your most popular or most bought. Whatever it is, show it off and explain to your audience why it's so awesome and why you're bringing it up again. Most likely you have some new followers and they're going to appreciate this resource. Or you can just throw it back to an old post or a picture of you. Maybe a picture of your first year teaching or a picture of you from your current grade that you teach in. These are quick and easy ways to get your audience engaged and also get them to hop on and 
do the same thing. This could be the beginning of a throwback trend for the day, which is also so fun. We're going to be looking at the last five tips on what to post on social media when you're feeling stuck. But first, a message from our sponsor, my premier course, Thriving Teacher Academy. Now, Thriving Teacher Academy was specifically designed to help teacherpreneurs develop a brand with impact, streamline your creation process, be confident in your design and quality, market effectively, and so much more. This is seriously the course I wish I had when I started my TPT store. And it comes with so many incredible practical tutorials, templates, and tips, plus the most amazing private Facebook community. Like it seriously is. Now doors will be opening for the Academy in the summer, but you can learn more and join the wait list at www.jillianfernandez. That's all one word, jillianfernandez.com backslash thriving teacher academy. And you can find the link in the show notes. I can't wait to see you there. And now back to our last five tips on what you can do to post when you're feeling like you're in a content slump. Number six is your favorite classroom finds. Teachers love inexpensive, unique finds, especially when they're from Target. I know I'm guilty. Have you found a cool, unique little gadget or a classroom accessory that you want to share with your audience? post about it. Your audience will truly appreciate this. I know I saw one of the teachers a couple weeks ago that I follow about these like hard pencil cases that they found at Target that allows them to store like small little things in their classroom, such as dice, letters, and marbles, you know, all the little things that typically get lost. The other thing I saw recently were these little mini taco shaped erasers. I'm not even in the class anymore. And you know, I went to Target just to find those little tacos. (laughs) So help a fellow teacher out and post any classroom finds because because teachers appreciate those. Tip number seven is a niche related question. This goes back and relates to my second tip, but instead of sharing facts about your niche, post a question that you often hear in your niche and then answer it. For example, for me as a TPT coach, one question I always hear is how can I sell my resources on social media? So I can pose this question on social media and then write a caption about it, create a reel about it, or make a carousel answering this particular question. So not only am I going to be seen as an expert in this, but I'm also solving a problem that my audience needs help with. One thing you can do to get questions like this is put the question box up in your stories, and then you can get that feedback from your audience. And it's a great way to find that type of content. Tip number eight is a win from the week. There's often a lot of negativity in this world. So let's change it up and bring some positivity to our audience's page by sharing a win. So some wins that you can share are, did you create an awesome new resource? Did you get an awesome testimonial? Maybe you got a new client. You maybe you got over a past fear. Maybe you just did something really amazing. Whatever you feel you succeeded with that week or that day, share it. Your audience would love to hear about it. Tip number nine is asking for advice on something that you're having difficulty with. Allowing your audience to help you and give you advice can really help foster relationships. This will do three things. Number one, it's going to bring engagement to your post because you're going to have tons of comments offering you advice. Number two, it's going to show your audience that you struggle as well. And number three, it's going to show who is an expert in their field as well. Plus, what an awesome way to better yourself and to learn more information. And finally, number 10, make a reel of something that you're working on. Ah, reels. (laughs) This is actually the number one way to bring eyes on your page. Instagram promotes reels across their platform and it allows other people to find you. So use this to your advantage and create a reel. Now you do have two options here. Number one, you can get in front of the camera and there are so many things you can do to get in front of the camera. There are trends you can use that you can hop on. So you can pick a trend and show off your personality. So you can do a dance and you do not have to dance if you don't want to. You can just talk to your audience. You can use captions to get your point across. You can do whatever you want to do, but being in front of the camera and actually showing yourself off is one way you can do that. Or you can stay behind the camera because not everyone likes to show their face and that's okay. You can still make reels. I have a ton of reels that I've created to show you how you can actually create your own reels without having to show your face. So be sure to go check those out on my page. Just to remind you, I am at the Jillian Fernandez on Instagram. 
Instagram if you want to go check out that series that I did on how to create reels without having to show your face. All right. Well, there you have it. There are 10 ways that you can still post content on social media for when you're feeling stuck. Which one do you feel was the most beneficial for you and your business? Let me know what you think by leaving a comment. If you're here on Apple Podcasts, you can actually still leave a comment as a review. I would love to hear from you. Also, I would absolutely love if you would take a second to share about this podcast on your social media. It would mean the world to me if you took just a little bit of time to spread the word about this podcast, if you found any value in it. Now, I can't wait to chat with you next time as we continue to grow our business together. If you loved this episode, be sure to subscribe so you can catch all new episodes, leave a review of something resonated, or even just send me a DM. Thank you for letting me into your business and your life today. You're going to love growing together as you create a profitable and sustainable income selling your teaching resources or services. I'm so honored to be here to make your life a little bit easier with the best advice, training, and mindset shifts to grow your business, and most importantly, save you time and sanity. And I'll see you in the next one.